reading the the Nipsey book. Yeah. I've been reading the Nipsey book lately. Okay. It's been really How good, you know, just like um from the beginning, it goes, it goes, it starts from the beginning, you know, where he got his name from, you know, what he was going through. Cause we just kind of, a lot of people got on at different times. I was kind of, I felt like I was kind of early on, even I was like bullets, no name kind of around that era. Uh, uh, I, I smell, I smell that. <laughs> Nipsey, I smell that. Yeah, for real, man. Like, you know, I'll kind of put my homies on to them. So a lot of people didn't catch on until kind of, kind of came around. Chris Shaw kind of came out. That's when people kind of start kind of bubbling, kind of hearing about them. But I was on, I felt like I'm on a little bit early and like, you know, talking about that, what is it, what did, what did Nip mean to you? Like, what did he inspire you to do and things like that? Yeah, tell me a little bit about that. Um, I first saw Nipsey Hussle in 
natural like odor, a, a natural good oh. nice oh, nice spot. Like he smelled fresh, like just like you know how you mm-hmm. get out the shower and you just fresh. And I was just like, wow. I said he, you could tell like he take care of himself. So I don't even know if that was pre Doctor Doctor CB or pre Africa, but you could tell like you know uh, he took care Man, of himself. I was not expecting to hear that story, but I'm glad I got a chance to hear that story because, like I said, it just makes me even more of a fan because, like. When I started listening to him, I'm just like, wow, because he was cutting through. I felt like his music was cutting through because we had a lot of the, you know, up tempo, you know, catchy song, but he would just like, you know, just cutting through just his words and what he was talking about. And then, of course, he, he dropped Crenshaw for the $100 mixtape and how he just changed the game when it came to being independent and just his forward thinking. He was talking about crypto, Bitcoin, just all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? It was just like a different level and an evolved human being that you don't normally see from somebody as young as him talking that way and other rappers weren't talking like that and that's why I kind of gravitated towards him and then just to see when people start to really start listening to what he was talking about I'm like man y'all late bro like what's going on y'all he's been talking about this type of stuff and I felt like he was right in the point where he was trying to make this strive and just like really take off like I felt like he was already bigger than what he was but I felt like the world didn't quite know him like like I felt like I knew him and then when he dropped the, the victory lap I felt like that was his moment to like really go to the next level and of course you know the devil took him away from him so fast you know what I mean right when you kind of hit right. the hit your stride the devil kind of come in and kind of knock you off your knock you off your feet 